Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Dr. Dorman's lab. Uh, in here, we do a combination of uh, material synthesis and characterization. We have some characterizing equipment in the lab, and we do uh, some of them in, inside the Shared Facility Center and the CAMD at LSU. Um, just giving you a quick tour of the lab. Um, we have some uh, optical characterization equipment. We have this state-of-the-art um, photoluminescence spectrometer that is um, capable of uh, doing in situ temperature measurement. Um, in here we have the UV visible spectrometer for looking at the absorbance of the material. Um, and back here, of course, we have our GI water system. Um, we have two fume hoods for synthesis. Um, this RF system for uh, characterizing magnetic nanomaterial, which Natalia will go over briefly. Um, another fume hood, we do most of our synthesis in here. We have different types of pump that um, allows us to uh, dry and synthesize material in um, both air and like under nitrogen, or under inert condition, or in vacuum. And we have a centrifuging system for, for our washing steps. Um, like I said, this is a functional, functional material group, so we do a lot of synthesis and characterization uh, for different applications. For example, for my project, I develop uh, photoluminescence nanomaterial, photoluminescent nanomaterial for biological applications, such as biosensing and single cell analysis. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Natalia. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia and I'll tell you a little bit about my research. First, I'd like to introduce you to the induction heating equipment we have in our lab. This is a cooling system so that um, whenever we start the induction heating process with a really large currents, the water can run through the whole system to avoid overheating it, the electronics and also your sample. So this cooler is attached to this um, controller head where we can manipulate what is the current we're sending through the coil. The coil is kept inside this beam hood. So here you can see the induction head carries the current value through this coil and based on basic, basic physics, we can calculate the intensity of the magnetic field um, relating the number of turns and the distance and diameter of the coil. So what we do in my research is utilize magnetic nanoparticles to, um, for induction heating systems. And what happens is because this is an alternating, um, alternating current magnetic field, we generate heat in situ. So that heat that's generated on the surface of the nanoparticles under an applied magnetic field can be easily transferred to a catalytic process, for example where the reactants are going to use that energy to convert um, the material into a usable product. So um, that's one aspect of my research. We've also been trying to manipulate size and morphology of nanoparticles to make that heat generation process more efficient. We measure the temperature with a fiber optic temperature probe. Here we have two. Um, two of those, one that has a protected cap and another one that doesn't for um, bare nanoparticle analysis. And with that, we can basically gauge what changes in the structure causes um, an increase or decrease in heat generation. I hope you guys have enjoyed our lab tour and thank you. <laughs>